so you can uh, ask the questions for all sessions uh, since morning whatever we have conducted so all uh, questions can be answered for all sessions so we expect your feedback your questions uh, yeah remote center 1205 mahatma gandhi mission college of engineering and technology noida up yes sir how can we decompile how to how to dot apk file to reach its source code reverse reverse engineering please something like that okay first i mean this is a something reverse engineering you are talking about first try to learn how to create a apk file from java code i mean that is something most important right now to decompile the dot apk and all there are some tools available it's pretty difficult but first emphasis is on from java byte code please try to create a apk try to install on akash tablet please follow the uh, straightforward procedure rather than the reverse engineering remote center 1207 jawaharlal institute of technology borwan mp madhya pradesh yes please go ahead as we are uh, windows uh, users so the process of installation in, uh, in windows microsoft windows xp and oh, okay what is the i want to know the process of installation in that case you can just download from the uh, android developer site that uh, adt bundle uh, that is 32 bit or 60 bit whatever your uh, system okay just download that adt bundle and extract that folder into anywhere into your uh, drive after that you will get two uh, eclipse sorry uh, two folders inside that folder so first is eclipse another is sdk and third file you will get that is dot, uh, and uh, sdk manager.exe just run that uh, uh, sdk manager it will start automatically installing the uh, all versions of your sdk okay. and after the same you can create uh, avd and run uh, create uh, new application same way you can do that inside the window uh, like uh, inside the windows adt bundle you will get uh, one more uh, file that is uh, sdk manager.exe hello yes sir if i have a 2.3.6 uh, gingerbread version then can i can i expand it to 4.0 version for my mobile upgradation on mobile so, sir that depends uh, that is you are talking about the upgradation of os on your mobile right if i am not wrong you want to go from gingerbread to some uh, updated version so i mean uh, that is something depends on your device i mean it is possible definitely upgradation of any os is possible i mean from windows xp you go to windows 7 so similarly similar concept uh, it is possible ma'am great pleasure to talk with you this is ritesh same, same here my question is uh, why why other pro, uh, other apps are not compatible with the android what do you mean by other apps can you define it it's very generic term means means uh, apple apps and nokia apps are not compatible with the android what is reason behind it sir nokia apps are not developed on android uh, you have special answer now <laughs> good afternoon i am professor patak here i actually came for a short while uh, to introduce a, a, a great uh, friend of ours and a, a top it expert but i was very curious to listen to your questions uh, so let me give you an answer there is nothing like an application is not compatible with this operating system or that operating system any application is primarily written in some programming language it could be in java it could be in c it could be in c++ it could even be in assembly program typically when you develop an application you port it on a particular operating system and from that point the application works on that operating system now if the developer of that application has written it and ported it on one operating system and only released the binary version of that application obviously that application cannot run on any other operating system but if the developer has released the entire source code of that application then there are multiple ways of porting that application elsewhere for example you can simply compile it and uh, combine it with the libraries for the new oper operating system and release it in the worst case an application in c can be rewritten in java and can be made available on akash so the question is not 
very correct. You cannot say the, whether this application is compatible or not. Application is an independent thing. It has been released on a particular operating system. For example, if you take the Apple computer, Apple runs a different operating system. It is not the same as Android. It is not the same as Linux. It is not the same as Microsoft Windows. It's a different operating system. And when you have an application whose only version available is a binary executable, then obviously it will work only on the specified operating system. It will never, as it is, it will never work automatically elsewhere. So what we should be really talking about is whether we can port one application or whether we can install an application in a different operating system. As I said, the answer is generally not. You will have to at least recompile, reconfigure, and in the worst case, you will have to rewrite. I hope this answer is adequate. Yes, sir. Uh, Thank you very much. Before going to uh, any new remote center, you can just go to, we are going over to Mandidi Bhopal, but before you ask uh, the question, I can see this young lady, very enthusiastic, but can you just hold on for a minute, if you don't mind? Uh, yes, sir. Yeah, thank you. I am indeed very privileged and happy to introduce our friend Ashank Desai. Ashank, can you please come over here? So, Ashang Desai is a distinguished alumnus of IIT Bombay. He is my contemporary from the institute, just few years difference, I think. He founded Mastek. Some of you might have heard of Mastek as an IT company. Uh, he and Mr. Sudhakar Ram actually initiated that many years ago. It's an extremely successful IT company. More important than that, he has been working in the leadership position in the IIT Alumni Association and in the Pan-IIT Alumni Association. Still more important than that, his heart is completely devoted to education. And today he had come to discuss with me the possibility of training teachers and students in primary schools and high schools in Indian languages so that the students from smaller places, rural places can benefit from the computer education. We have almost finalized a plan. <coughs> in fact, just before we went over to Bhopal. I think we were interacting with the remote center in Borma, right? Borma, as you would know, is a relatively smaller town in Madhya Pradesh. And one of the high schools which we have already selected for a pilot experiment with the high school students, nine standard students, uh, is uh, in Khargon district, Bhikangao. I think the uh, Akash project center at Borma is going to look after that school. Why I mention all of this is that all of you students, when you participate in the uh, application building contest, which I announced in the morning, please ensure that not all of you work only on engineering educational applications and engineering educational contents, but some of you at least should be fired to develop useful applications in Indian languages for use in our schools. Uh, uh, Ashant, would you like to mention something to them? Thanks, Professor Fatak. He has been a great friend and I almost missed being his student looks like. He was three, four <laughs> years ahead of yeah. me. But uh, he has always been a great supporter and kind of work that he is doing is phenomenal. Uh, as you know, he has got Padma Shri, which was late, I think, given the work that he is doing. So whenever something has to be done for large masses, I always come and trouble him. So today I was talking to him about the, uh, about the primary student uh, teachers. But coming to you, wearing my hat of Mastec and NASCOM, which is an association, we need large number of IT graduates from all over the country. And our issue today is we are not finding as many as we want in terms of the kind of quality that we need. So really, Professor Fatak and all of you, whatever you are doing is really great job. Because today, only people in Mumbai and Bangalore and Delhi and, you know, and IITs and so on are not enough. We need large number of students. So what is the best way you can do is what you are doing. So I must thank you wearing my IT industry hat. So that's one. Second is, see, today we are having IT industry in five cities. You know, Hyderabad, Bangalore, NCR in Delhi, Mumbai, and Bangalore, and Pune. That is 90% of industry. We cannot grow five times, which is what we want to do over the next 15 years, by 
on these five centers. We have to go to all the smaller towns in the country, but we can't go unless we have talent all over. So, I am really happy that you are training people at remote places, Ma. Professor Patak and all of you. So, so that you know, you are doing a great job for yeah. IT industry and I must talk more about it. Yes. It is good that I came today. Thank you. Thank you, Ashank. <coughs> so, since we are talking to an institute in Bhopal, yeah. may I take it that Mastec would soon be starting a, a, a branch in Bhopal, so that a large number of Bhopal students can actually join you as good programmers. <laughs> we will look at that. <laughs> and uh, what we need to ensure is that our students who pass out become first rate programmers, I first rate problem solvers and that is what you have to imbibe. Not just understanding how to develop applications, but write very good code, write very good documentation, have a great clarity on what you are doing and that is what we are trying to attempt to get this. I am sorry for intervening between the important interaction. This young lady has been desperate to ask her question. So, I would suggest please go ahead and do that. Yeah. Uh, Sir, when we create an Android application project and then we run it successfully, uh, then the, where we could find the APK files in our in our package explorer project folder? So, uh, in your Android project structure, basically inside your workspace, you will, uh, whenever you will create a new application project, one new folder will get created. Okay. Workspace is nothing like a working directory for you. If you have, uh, you know, seen the, if you have done any time C programming, what do you do? You keep all your programs in one directory. That is what work, Workspace does it for you. It is just that along with your code, there are lots of other things around the Android which get saved in your working directory that is in Workspace. So, inside your workspace, you will have your application project. Inside that, you will have bin folder. And inside bin folder, you, get, you will get that dot apk once you compile your application and run it on an emulator. After that only, you will see dot apk file inside your bin folder of your application project under your workspace. I hope that answers your question. Any more questions, please? May I ask one more question? Yes, definitely. Go ahead. Uh, Ma'am, you say he, uh, you said that uh, SQLite database is used in Android for structured database. Then, for unstructured database, which, which one is used? For un in the session for one, unstructured database such as doc files and PDF files, which type of database is used instead of SQLite? See, basically, I mean, uh, unstructured database. Is what so, I, if I get your, yeah, if I get your point, you want to read out a doc or dot PDF file, so that you can directly store. Yeah, tomorrow anyway, we have a dedicated session on SQLite, so the, there you will come to uh, understand this point. Okay, thank you, ma'am. Welcome, welcome. My question is that. Why is Google change in Android? Why Google changed to Android? I mean, they came up with Android for smart, for basically touch screen devices. I mean, this is a need for an hour. I mean, if anywhere you go, you always see a touch screen device. That is why they had to come up with a Android. I mean, I do not find any other reason why Google came with Android. Okay, ma'am. And my next question is, is that, what is involved in releasing the source code for a new Android version? Can you please come again? I could. What is involved? What is involved in releasing the source code for a new Android version? Ma'am, I think he is asking that what is the change in the announced version of Android? Uh, in the point of uh, from uh, seeing. The previous version. What is the difference in previous and announced version of the Android? So, see, I mean, what, what do you understand? I, for example, if you develop one software, there will be always revisions of it. There will be always some, you know, th loopholes in your software which you will try to overcome in your next version. Same concept. Android has came first in market. There were lots of loopholes. It was slow. UI was not that good. So they come up. They started coming with coming up with a newer and newer version. I mean, that is the logic. 
थैंक यू सेंटर वन वन जीरो सेवन पूर्णिमा ग्रुप ऑफ इंस्टीट्यूशन जयपुर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल थैंक्स फॉर कंडक्टिंग दिस वर्कशॉप मैम आई एम दीपक फ्रॉम पूर्णिमा कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग फाइनल ईयर स्टूडेंट मैम मेरा क्वेश्चन ये था कि आपका जो ये एंड्रॉइड आई है मैम वो जावा के अलावा किसी और लैंग्वेज के साथ भी कम्फर्टेबल है क्या यस एक्लिप्स आई कैन बी यूज फॉर मल्टीपल लैंग्वेजेस इवन यू कैन कोड इन सी सी प्लस प्लस इवन जावा ऑब्वियसली एंड्रॉयड तो है ही इवन पाइथन देर आर लॉट्स ऑफ प्लग इन्स अवेलेबल यूजिंग विच यू कैन डू इट आई मीन दिस आई डी इज कम्पेटेबल फॉर लॉट्स ऑफ लैंग्वेजेस यस ओके वन मोर क्वेश्चन मैम मैम ये जो इक्लिप्स आई डी का इंस्टॉलेशन है उस पर जे डी के के वर्जन का कोई फर्क पड़ता है क्या मतलब जेडीकी का वर्जन कोई 1.5 हो 6 हो 7 उससे फर्क पड़ेगा क्या वी नीड वन पॉइंट जेडी के वन पॉइंट सिक्स एंड अब और अब वन पॉइंट सिक्स प्लस बेसिकली मगर और कोई होगा 1.57 तो इट वॉन्ट बी सपोर्टेड यस वन पॉइंट सिक्स रिमोट सेंटर वन जीरो वन जीरो एस वी एन आई टी सूरत एक्चुअली आई वॉन्ट टू डू द रोटेड ऑपरेशन Uh, on an image so i am picking it up from the gallery and uh, using an intent to store it in the image view and in the i am using the next activity to do uh, to uh, take the input from the user by how much degrees i want to rotate it but ultimately uh, when i am going back to the previous intent uh, in the previous activity i am losing the image which was means i i was fetching from the gallery so do in that case means how can i retain it basically are you if i am not uh, mistaken you are trying about uh, trying to do achieve a animation i mean the image rotation can be uh, uh, can be done by using view animation and there are a lot of animation uh, attributes which can be used uh, i didn't get your problem exactly you said that from first activity you are going to next there you are asking user to uh, choose a file and then something coming back and something is happening can you just reframe or just come again just want to uh, ask ki uh, in one activity i am taking the intent uh, in which i have stored the image and in the in the next activity i am uh, taking user input like 3 uh, 20 degrees or 20 30 degrees when when i am returning back to the original activity i am losing the intent uh, image so how to re retain that image Yeah, definitely. If image is not getting stored, then there is some issue with your coding. I mean, you are not retaining it. If you are coming back, then yeah. And if there is issue with the rotation, then that comes uh, in the animation segment, which we will have it on a third day afternoon session. If you are not able to rotate it, or if you want to know about the animation, so please attend the third day afternoon session for it. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, uh, there was a there was an example which was shown by you regarding the activities. Okay. Okay. There were two activities. First, we uh, entered certain thing like some name in the first activity. We moved to the second activity. Okay. In the second activity, we again had a back button by which we were moving to previous intent again. Okay. Right. Okay. Now, when yeah. we are moving to the previous intent, the data which was actually entered is lost. so our question is how can we retain the data which is there in the first intent or first activity move to another activity and come back to the same activity with the same data so see basically if you have uh, if you have understood activity is a class activity has lots of method lots of attributes to do things which you are talking about for example if i am in a current activity i want to go to next and i want to pass some parameters there are methods available to do that if you are coming back and if you expect another activity to give you back the result there is a method called as start activity for result so what what it does is it gives you the result back so for example suppose it's a camera application i am opening a camera it's giving me a image back so it gives a raw data which you can type cast to the corresponding data you expect from the activity so there is a method called as start activity for result so instead of just start activity you can use start activity for result if you expect some result to be back from the other activity i hope that answers your question no ma'am i'm sorry just one last time yeah, what yeah, i mean sure. to say is there is some image as the yeah there is some image which was shown on the screen on that activity screen okay i move to another screen i come back to the same screen the image is gone 
So that is my question. Whatever data was entered, it is not retained. It's okay. I can get back the parameters or get back the results, but the same screen is not retained. Okay. See, I mean, this is seems to be a programming issue. I mean, there is no at such a uh, logic in this. I mean, it's pretty simple. I mean, you can store it in a variable and also do it. Or there are several other methods, as I told you, that activity class has lots of other methods. So you can pass the data between different different activities. So there are other, again lots of methods. What you can do is you can just post your programming code on our Moodle link so that we can have a look and just uh, get you back on this. Thank you. Uh, remote Center 1269, IRCEM Institute of Information Technology, Banipur, West Bengal. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. A dot .apk file format is only important for security purpose or more? Basically, that is a format using which you can install your application on Android device. There is no other f format using which you can install your application on Android device. I mean, that's the significance of dot .apk. Ma'am, it's provide full secure for um, hackers. Ma'am, it's if full secure from hackers so when I will create a ID and password, can it be possible to break from the hackers? Yeah, definitely. I mean, see, now that depends on philosophy. Android is a complete open source. Source code is available. Everything is available. So if you see some fo uh, phones are rooted, what do they do is, I mean, they give a super admin access to you and you can do a lot of things in it. You can hack it. You can, you know, in introduce a lot of things. So that depends on philosophy. Yes, it is possible, but whether the your that depends again whether your device is rooted or not. Thank you. Any other questions, sir? Yes, ma'am. Uh, my question is: We know from very beginning that the Java is very secure. Uh, then, uh, how is it possible uh, to convert a Java bytecode, which is created by the uh, Java compiler, uh, is converted to the Dalvik bytecode by the Dex compiler? So, I mean, that is, see, the, what DEX compiler does is it optimizes the Java bytecode which has already compiled by the Java compiler. What is, I mean, how it is doing, it's the inside of the com DEX compiler itself. It just optimizes the Java bytecode at certain layers so that the Dalvik bytecode becomes a very small so that, you know, it would be executable, uh, it, it will be executing at very fast speed. That means when the DVM is on based on Java platform. Basically, there, yeah, there is such no dependency that it is based on a Java platform. Uh, remote Center 1244, Archana College of Engineering, Palamel, Kerala. Yes, sir. Madam, I have doubt uh, that uh, in Windows-based system, the security problem is huge. And while we are considering a Linux-based and Java-based system, the security problem is much lesser. So I would like to know uh, how much the uh, threats and worms are affected in Akash tablet. And uh, by any application like uh, antivirus, is it possible to reduce that? Or what, up to what extent we can use any th such type of applications? So basically, I mean, you <laughs> have answered in your question itself because Linux has a powerful security system and I don't think so you have any way uh, any time heard about that Linux has been uh, you know the virus has been introduced in a Linux so that's what is applicable for Android because it is based on the Linux kernel so it is purely I mean it's completely secure there is no as such antivirus issue with a tablet also uh, 1075 DY Patel College of Engineering and Technology Kolhapur yes sir go ahead Good evening, ma'am. Hello. Good yes. evening, ma'am. My question is, what is scope of compatibility for new Android version with any other device? Scope of compatibility of, see, that depends. I have already told you that depends on which version your, you know, device is supporting. I mean, let it be now. Uh, right now, it's 4.2 Jelly Bean. Maybe there will be some new version. But you know, if your device, uh, it is all dependent on what your device is supporting. So it's it, it's a hardware thing. I mean, suppose I'm uh, developing a new application in uh, for the Android, then whether it is compatible for the new Android version or not. 
So, that depends on which version your application is compiling in, right? I have already given you example in the morning that suppose I have application compiled in 4.0 ICS, ice cream sandwich and if I am trying to run it on a device which has a jelly bin 4.1, yes it will work because there is a forward compatibility, right? So, it is, yes it will work. That depends definitely with what API level, what uh, version your application is compiling in and what your device is supporting. These are the two main factors. Thank you sir. Any other question? Uh, during the launching of AVD, we came across one error. Uh, the error said panic could not open the uh, AVD name, whichever name we gave while launching it. So, can you please explain what this error meant? Okay, so uh, for that you have to just uh, check that your, uh, you have a targeted version and your compiled version. Suppose if you are using uh, like uh, any version you have not installed properly because of that and you are selecting that particular version because that you will get this kind of uh, launching error. So basically if you have not installed a corresponding API or yeah. corresponding version and you are targeting your AVD to that, that version then it won't work. We have not come across exactly this error, but this issue seems to be uh, similar to the what we have explained. Uh, thank you and uh, we will stop the session now.